Hey everybody, Eric here from Lapfix, and just coming back at you with another video on repairs, obviously, right? That's why we're here, that's why the channel exists, <laughs> to show, show you guys what we do for repairs. So we got another one here. Let's see what's going on with this one. It's a MacBook. Well, the battery's out, actually. Okay, we can live with that. Battery's out, that's fine. Actually, let's get a charger. Have it right, always gotta have it near me. All my MagSafe 1, 2s, I don't really, I guess MagSafe 3, I'm sure I get that one, it has USB-C, so we're not really concerned about it, but alright, so what happens with this one, why am I, who cares about me rambling, right, well, let's see, plug this one in, and let's see what happens, actually it does have power on, which is interesting, fan spinning, see that here, let's see, if you guys can see it. Is that the logo? All right, so we turn on. We're actually at the boot menu here, and we keep seeing that this uh, the backlight seems to be flickering on and off. Um, sometimes I did get to when we go into operating system. Sometimes it would just lock itself out there. So it seems like from this, when you're looking at this, maybe the backlight's starting to go out there a little bit. But when it's going to the operating system, when it does actually lock itself, sometimes uh, I don't want to show that because the customer's data is there, has his name and stuff like that. So we don't really want to show that. But that was actually locking me out, and sometimes it wouldn't come. But it wouldn't never turn off. It would just keep doing this. So uh, if we look at the keyboard here, let's actually just disconnect this because it's fine. There's no battery plugged in. But if we look at the keyboard here, you see all the yellow nastiness there. Maybe there's some type of liquid spill. Maybe there's corrosion on that. I'm going to go ahead and just take a look at what we want to see. I want to open up the board. I didn't notice anything on this side of the board, but that's not where the side of the keyboard is. So I think we want to do that first. We're going to go ahead and remove the board and see probably there's probably corrosion or something there. Okay, so... Alright, so we removed it. Uh, it's hard to see if there's anything wrong with the board there. Looks actually pretty clean. It's a little dusty, a little bit dirty, but man, who knows? Right? You always got to look under the microscope because you can't see anything. Right, because the backlight's flickering, we're thinking, hey, maybe around the backlight area, right? Uh, it's, it's a little bit dirty there. It's not too bad. We're looking for a culprit. We want to see a culprit. If it's flickering like that, that has to be liquid spill. Like, I mean, it, it can be failing too, but uh, let's go in the back. Let's go to the backlight I see, because that's it's usually number one suspect right here. Any problem here? It uh, looks good. looks pretty good. A little dirty. Nothing crazy. All right, let's keep going. Let's just see what's going on here. Looks pretty clean. Looks pretty good. Ooh, see that? The green. This isn't Christmas time. It has to be red and green. Let's, let's look under here. This is a problem if it goes under the chip. You don't want that. It's a little bit of blue under there too, it looks like, huh? No, maybe not. Okay, so we have our little culprit here. See that there's something here. It's like a bit of food, it's like a chunk here. Now I don't want to push this under this chip, I don't want to push this this way. So what I want to do is I probably just want to clean off this area a little bit first. You can see this area is a C6100. That's what the cap is, and the bottom one's ground. Makes sense because usually anything with electricity on it is going to go bad, right? So the top one is that. It's This is a PV3V3SUS, and right next to it is, this looks like a ROM chip. An MLB ROM, yep. So we always want to be careful. Uh, we don't really want to be removing this. doesn't look like there's enough damage for it to be removed. We could probably just do a little bit of cleaning under there and um, at least make sure we fix the cap area right next to it. So let's do that. What we want to do is we want to reestablish this connection so we can actually put uh, a, another cap in there. And um, since there is a lot of damage, the corrosion did eat away a little bit at the board there. So we need to actually dig a little bit more so we can make um, I'll put a little bit of solder there. So what that's going to do is it's going to recreate what the pads it's going to do there. So it's going to have a nice connection. So we're going to make sure that we put a little bit of solder so we can touch it up. And now the cap's actually going to be able to sit on it. It's a very, very tight connection still. So what we want to do is it's not going to be super easy just to put it back. So we want to probably put on maybe the little bit of the bottom one first because that one has a perfect connection. It's just the ground. And then we can actually just touch up a little bit to the top um, with some obviously some more flux and just some hot air. And it should actually totally sit fine. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then after that, it should actually just go ahead and work totally fine. 
and uh, we'll test it. Um, the little corner there on the ROM chip shouldn't be too bad. We just did a little bit of cleaning there too. So let's go ahead and see if it works. So I put it back. Uh, let's get a charger. Make sure it works. It's not going to flicker anymore. All right, so I put it back. Let's see how it's going to go. So we can let it go all the way, I guess. All right, it's in there. The screen's a little dirty. We'll definitely clean that up after this too. Oh, look good. Okay, and it looks good. Um, no flickering. The power looks to be fine. No other issues. And that's about it. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the A1466 uh, board number 820 no, I'll put that in. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the MacBook Air A1466. Um, make sure that there's no other issues going on with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next video. T take care. Thanks a lot for watching. Lots of MacBook liquid spill repairs coming. Stay tuned. Thanks a lot. Bye.